Okay, hey, we'll start at the door and give you a tour here. I can put my jacket in here. This is my bathroom. Nice size shower. I love all this room because I've been doing exercises. And so I've already moved the sofa and the chair and I'll show you why. This is one of my bedrooms. So I'm putting all my stuff in that one and I'm actually going to live in this one. And so this is a view from my bedroom, Mount Eret. Isn't that beautiful? So you'll see that's why I moved that other chair by that window. This is where I'll sleep. I doubt I'll do any work over there because it's not very inspiring. But yeah, I've put my laptop here and the chair right by the window so I can look at Mount Eret. The sun gets really hot on my leg. But this is my table where I eat picture of me and Pastor K preaching in Japan. Another view. I had no idea this view was here when I moved here, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So I'm surrounded by apartments, and mine is very, very new. It's nice to have a washing machine and coffee pot everything here i've already got groceries so i'm going to do uh veggies for a week with oats and <clears throat> a little bit of strawberry but i bought this to put in my carrot soup because carrots are probably the cheapest thing in town right now. I was going to buy ginger and it was almost $8. I said, no, you can keep that ginger. Yeah, so that's my room. And yeah, I guess I could show you downstairs, huh? And then of course I have my three books. <laughs> I always hang them up to keep me inspired. But I don't have volume four with me. There's actually nine books that I've written. And I've only actually physically held my first three books. So the other six books I've never even touched. Even the hallway is nice. The last place I stayed smelled like cat poop so bad. But look how nice this is. And the elevator's nice. And it's cheaper than the other place, believe it or not. That other place with the piano was more money. Look at this. The mother of Armenia on the hill there. You see it? Yeah, right here. Right here. <laughs> Georgia has one too. So, of course, it would be the mother of Georgia over there, but this is, this is Armenia. So, I think Cascades is like over that way. Oh, here's my elevator. Okay, I am outside my wonderful apartment. I'm not going to show you which one because I have a lot of people in Armenia that are angry I'm here. So it would not be wise for me to say which place I live. But check this out. Look at this. Now there is a guy over a few streets over that his coffee shop is open. And for anybody that knows, knows I wanna start a small coffee shop. This is awesome because I come from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we're known for um, the choo-choo train. So imagine this right here, but turned into a Dutch wooden shoe. That's kind of more the theme that I'm going for is a Dutch wooden shoe. 
And so you've got two coffee shops right next door to each other. Both of these are closed, but the other guy, like I said, is open. And you got chess out here, some kind of spider for some reason. And then you got another cafe here. So coffee is a big deal, and then there's a, a cafe here. But I need to find out what this is all about. Um, there are Jewish people's names here. So it makes me wonder if something really bad happened here. And they're giving honor to these people's names. Yeah, obviously they're Jewish because that's the, the Israeli star. Yeah, it's Passover. So I just kind of want to show their names here. Such beautiful property, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. That's so Jewish, right? Israel. Yon. Hmm. And the Jews love to play chess. I actually rented from a guy that was an uh, Airbnb guy in Jerusalem. And he was a chess teacher uh, in Israel for little kids. And his apartment was really dirty, actually. So I cleaned it for him one time and the funny thing is he went in his roommate's room one day and got locked in and he was banging on the door let me out let me out so it's kind of funny i had to figure out how to get him out i think i used a card like a credit card i can't remember that was years ago but why did I tell you that story? Oh yeah, because I shared the gospel with him and he wanted to hear. It's a beautiful day here, isn't it? Did you notice I've been out here a few minutes and that there, whoop, there's two cops. Whoops, let's go in because I don't have my passport. <laughs> 